this week's show, this week, everything I didn't do last week because I ran out of time and I had to actually take the video and get the carving knife out of the kitchen and chop that tail off it just to get it all in. So this week, yes, the uh, poem, the other poem by Henry Howard, Earl of Surrey, especially for my friend uh, Maria in the Netherlands. So, here we go. A complaint by night of the lover not beloved. Alas, so all things now do hold their peace. Heaven and earth serveth in no thing. The beasts, the air, the birds, their song do cease. The nights cover the stars about not the ring. Calm as the sea, the ways work less and less. So am not I who love, alas, doth the ring. Bringing before my face the great increase of my desires, whereat I weep and sing. In joy and woe, as in a doubtful case, for my sweet thoughts sometimes the pleasure bring. But by and by the cause of my disease gives more pang than inwardly doth sting. When that I think what grief it is again to live and lack the thing, should bring my pain. Well, there you go. A good poem. And um, interesting to read too. A bit of a tongue twist now. Anyway, there you go. Um, what am I going to talk about now? Well, I was just actually thinking about what I was going to talk about while I was reading it. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to sort of talk a bit about what I was talking about last week. Something that people don't talk much about is that is the truth. I guess because it's very difficult to talk about that because everyone has their own opinions and that's fair enough. And uh, yeah, so it makes it difficult to. to verse about it, doesn't it? But um, I think it's important. Uh, I guess that's why I want to talk about it. I think it's very important because if you're not looking for the truth in life, what, you know, what on earth are you doing? Um, I don't know. And um, I think that um, if you go down to the shop to buy a bottle of milk, say, generally um, walking towards the shop, you're looking for the shop, I can say you don't know where the shop is, and uh, you go around looking for it, don't you? that's your intention and if you do that you'll generally you know through asking people or reading a map or whatever you should arrive at the shop I guess um, but you know there seems to be a lot of people who are out there and they have all sorts of intentions other than looking for the truth you know and um, so they're not really even looking for it and they're kind of wandering aimlessly all over the show are they not and this is the sort of person that um, perhaps is a little naive, a little, nut, a little gullible. And um, I did a video a few back there about gullibility, and I've done another one about um, the man who sold the Eiffel Tower twice, because this whole area interests me quite a bit. Probably because I used to be like that myself, and I, I often think back on it and how on earth did I end up so incredibly gullible, you know. I do think it's a very important aspect to look at, not so that you can arrive to some profound truth that I believe in it or anything, because I'm not here to preach to anything, but um, I think in your own right, I think it's very important to uh, be looking for what you pertain as the truth. Now, is there anything, therefore, that we can agree on about the truth? Can we agree not on on the specifics of the truth, but on the nature of the truth. You know, a little like, um, can we, uh, perhaps we can't agree on what a Martian looks like, but we can agree on the fact that they would look different than us. We can agree on that, perhaps. I don't know. I mean, is there something? Can we agree on the nature of truth at all? I mean, to me, truth is brutal. I mean, I think there's a reason why we have the phrase, just give me the brutal truth. I, I mean, it's not always, I mean, you know, it's true that I have a day off today, which is kind of nice, I wouldn't say that's brutal. But um, I think the things that we want to avoid, generally, uh, can be quite brutal, otherwise we wouldn't be avoiding them, would we? To some degree. And perhaps it's these things that, um, we tend, because we tend to avoid them, then we forget about what they are. Things that we sort of put aside, and then we say to ourselves, we kind of deceive ourselves, that no, we don't need to do this or that, 
it's not the way to do things and so forth. And we romanticize, a bit like that poem, something that's not even real, you know, um, with pageantry and ceremony and uh, ritual and tradition. And it's all these things that make it rather enticing and uh, give it a, an edge of comfortability and interest when in actual fact it is nothing more than words strung together in a very clever way. Perhaps. Well, I'm being rather vague, aren't I? Because it's, uh, I don't want to upset people. And I want to um, talk more about the search for truth than the actual finding of it. Because I think maybe that's all we can really do. But at least we do it. And I think if you're not looking for the truth, you really are in trouble because you're going to get taken for a ride by someone, by some someone trying to sell you something. Or, um, you know, you can easily get ripped off. And um, you can get deceived and brainwashed, and that's scary. So, there you go. There's a few ideas, a few thoughts. Perhaps you can send in a few comments and um, try and work out what on the earth I'm talking about. That's my thoughts on it. Thanks a lot for watching, and please rate and subscribe and comment and everything else. And if you don't like what I've just said, Throw pieces of cream cake at your screen, and that'll really annoy me. In not truth, I don't know. Maybe. No, maybe. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, thanks a lot, and I'll see you next week. Bye.